Hey guys, this is Lynette, and today I'm going to talk to you guys about some really great ways to exercise at home without equipment. But first I want to direct your attention to the link down at the bottom of the video. When you click on it, it's going to open up a new window so you won't lose this awesome information. And it is going to give you some information about a weight loss product that I highly recommend. It's called Shred Body Fat. So go ahead and click on that link now and check it out. I know that you'll enjoy that information as much as this. So we're going to go look at eight ways to get a killer workout without machines at home. Um, this is through muscleandfitness.com and basically um, they have a little editorial here. Impressive is the backyard me mechanic who with nothing else but spare parts and rusty wrenches takes a car that has been seen better days and transforms it into an eye-catching roadster over the course of a weekend or two. How does he does it? He knows how to manipulate the tools at his disposal to mimic high-end machinery found in world-class body shops. You can do this with your body as well. Use the tools you have, dumbbells, barbell, and adjustable bench to turn gym-specific machine moves into ultra-effective home exercises. You'll never leave home again. You want to do a pull down to front, which can target your back. If your home is equipped with a chin-up bar, that's the obvious substitute for the pull down. Those of us who don't have one hanging around need to get more creative with the back. Although the angle of attack isn't the same, the two hand bent over dumbbell row works well in place of pull downs. You can perform this the same as you would a bent over barbell row, except with dumbbells. You can hold the weight hammer grip style or use an overhand grip to mimic the barbell version. You can use a unique variation of the barbell pullover, and they give you a description here how to do that. This is just going to go through and give you some specific descriptive um, directions on how to do some stuff with it. They still say you should have these few um, pieces of equipment, but we're really looking for ways that we can do this without the equipment. So I'm going to, but if you have those, a barbell, a chin up bar, you can do that. But if not, we're going to go over these few. This is from Oprah.com. And basically, they have a little slideshow here of the different workouts that you can do at home without any machinery at all or any equipment, I guess would be the proper term that we're looking for here. So here we have, the first one is the body weight squat. You stand as tall as you can with your feet spread slightly wide, wider than shoulder width apart and you hold your arms straight out in front of your body at shoulder level so that your arms are parallel to the floor. And they give you the little description here as to how to do this. And as you can see, they talk about that right there. That's the body weight squat. The next one is the incline push up, which you can see they've got a bench or a chair, and you place your hands uh, on a raised surface, such as a box, a bench, an ottoman, or one of the steps of your stairs instead of the floor. And you see how everything's parallel, and you just do an actual um, push up there. The next one see here, hopefully we can get rid of some of the advertisements here. So we'll see if we can uh, get rid of this advertisement and move on here. This is the hip raise. As you can see, you lay flat, bend your knees, and you're going to keep a parallel line throughout your body from your knees to your shoulders, and you're just going to raise up and do those in repetitions. This is the side plank, which I have just tried to describe the side plank before, and it's really not as easy as it sounds, but it is a wonderful workout for your abs. And the next one, okay, there's this is a modified, see, this is a modified plank. She's got her knees bent. It'll work some different parts of the body as well, so you could do both. And this one, if we can get it to load, I just love all these advertisements. The next one, which will be our last for this segment, is the floor YTI raises. This is a three exercise combination. You simplify, um, perform eight to 12 repetitions of each exercise, one, af one after the other without resting. So do eight to 12 of the floor Y raise, followed me by eight to 12 reps of the floor T raise, and followed by eight to 12 reps of the floor I raise.